Hi everyone, Travis here from Hyde Motorworks, uh, designer of various bracket systems for various superchargers that fit onto engines such as the M10 and the M20. Today I want to show you my current uh, design build that I'm working on in conjunction with Hyde Motorworks. The Rotrex C38, which is a centrifugal supercharger that's capable of um, allowing your engine to put out 200 to 500 kilowatts of power. Um, I'm designing a system that this can actually fit onto the M10 um, motor, uh, the mid 60s motor all the way through to 1986. Uh, so Hyde came to me and he said, can I design a bracket system that can house the C38 Rotrex, the centrifugal supercharger? Anyway, um, let's have a look at the system that I've designed. Um, it's now September 2023. I would imagine in a few months this would be ready for mass production through Hyde Motorworks. So let's check out how it looks. So here we are. Here's the M10 engine. Um, we've got the bracket system currently in wood at the moment. This is just the prototype. Um, we've got the C38 Rotrex positioned here. Uh, we have a tensioning pulley here. Uh, that's in about the middle position. We can also bring it up and down a fair way. Um, we have the alternator uh, adjustment bracket, which is one of the original ones, which I've added to the front. And also to this um, alternator here is actually from an E46. Uh, it's the Valio type that we need to use. Um, it currently has the six rib system sitting on it. We've got to change that to a, a V pulley, um, which will match up uh, with the new pulley that we've got on the inside, which then runs the water pump and the alternator here. Um, the outer six rib pulley will exclusively run the supercharger pulley up the top here. Uh, these Rotrexes come with an eight groove pulley system. Um, obviously we'll only need six, so we'll use six Vs on here on the crank, uh, and we'll just use uh, whichever six that we want to use. In general, you use the inner six of the, um, the pulley system of the, the Rotrexes. Uh, the outlet we have here, um, you can actually change the position of this outlet, but I think this one's in a fairly good position. Um, you can either run that, um, well, most likely you would have to run it to an intercooler with the amount of power that this can generate. Uh, Rotrexes are renowned for not producing massive amounts of heat, so, um, but ideally if you're building your engine to, uh, to sustain such a beast of a machine like the Rotrex C38 here, um, you would obviously use, a, use an intercooler as well. Uh, so we have, we've got a front bracket and a rear bracket. The rear bracket is the entire full length bracket here. Uh, it had to be a full length bracket to actually house the, um, uh, the new alternator as well. Um, we just found using a new alternator was a more upgraded product uh, and gives a, a more quality finish for this entire build. Uh, the inlet of the supercharger um, at the rear here um, will most likely make a piping system that brings everything out uh, in a loop around the front and perhaps underneath the outlet, um, heading towards where obviously the filter would be at the front of the um, the front of the engine compartment. Um, you can just see how compact this supercharger is. Um, it's an absolute ripper. It is. Uh, it's a real. Um, power-packed, technologically advanced supercharger that not only produces very little heat, but is incredibly efficient. Um, and it fits really, really well into the M10 system here. On the uh, inside beneath the where the Rotrex sits, uh, I've got a, um, a side mount bracket that mounts to the side of the uh, engine block. Um, just creates a lot of stability for the front brackets that obviously sit um, quite upright. And in future, there's, um, there's positioning that the, um, the space in between the V pulley and the six rib pulley sections of the combination crank pulley, um, there'll be sufficient space in there that comes with the kit for uh, you to add whichever crank trigger wheel that you may want. 
So this is the current build, the Rotrex C38 on the M10 engine. Uh, what we have in store next after the M10 engine is the Rotrex C38 onto this classic engine which is the M20 engine. Uh, so watch this space in terms of development of the Rotrex C38 and other Rotrex iterations onto this engine too. So there you have it, just a brief introduction into this kit that will be available hopefully in a few months. Um, any further information you can contact hydemotorworks.com, their website there, they're based in Stuttgart, Germany, and, um, and they'll answer any questions you have, um, any uh, personal questions that may be required, I can answer those as well, but forward all inquiries through to uh, hydemotorworks.com. Also check out the socials, um, plenty of information there on other BMW builds plus also uh, other cars now coming into uh, production type with their uh, supercharger bracket systems. So have a great day, um, I look forward to having any questions in future, uh, look forward to helping you out with builds. Uh, all the best, have a supercharged day.